Now the Pawnee Courthouse is where we had a lot of events when I was a kid we'd come over here for. Uh, it's also where I probably got the first real introduction to military. Uh, big military friendly town, Pawnee. And uh, at some point they were allowing people to buy bricks for anybody who served in the military. My mom bought some for my dad, my granddad and I. And they filled this place with folks' names who served in World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm. Yeah, right off of the where the cannon's at there. Uh, you'll find our names. Now, Roy was an uncle of mine. Roy McDougal, United States Coast Guard in World War II. That's Grandpa's. Charles Oliver McDougal served under Patton in World War II. You know, here lately we've seen a lot of videos of people freely walking on the American flag to make some kind of a statement. And I guess it is their right to do so, but that still doesn't make them smart. And when I see that red, white, and blue, I don't see just a rag. Instead, I see the faces of the men and women that I served with overseas and also here in America. I see the faces of many of those folks who won't come back. In fact, when I think about it, I've heard the stories my granddad told of World War II, how he used to load bodies on the trucks, all in the name of freedom. And I've got to travel this world, and I've seen good places, and I've seen a lot of bad. And I can tell you we're very blessed right here in the United States of America. It's the greatest country you'll ever see. It's the freest country you'll ever see. My family and I went to Harrisburg, West Virginia this last year. Get to see exactly where we started, where our founders started this country. And uh, their principles at that time were very similar to what we have today. But they were much, much stronger in a Christ-like faith, Christian faith. And if you look in the Constitution and in any of the amendments, there's not one place in any of them that talk about separation of church and state. The separation of church and state was actually found in a letter written a year or two after the Constitution. And when they talked about separation of church and state at that time, they weren't talking about keeping the church out of the state. They were talking about keeping the state out of the church. Our founding fathers were strong Christian men. And when I look at that flag, I hear their stories, I see the faces of those I served with, and I see a free America. So it's much more than just red, white, and blue. That's freedom. And it allows you to be free and do the things that you want to do, even if you're one of those stupid sorry suckers walking on the flag.